Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the 16th day of December, 2013. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful pattern we got going right here. We're, and I've shown you this impact before several times in the past, like a month ago or so. I showed it to you a bunch of times. With the weather fitting in Mare Oriental just beautifully right here. With that overlay that I had set in place for a long time. I showed that. Well, so now we got basically every inch, every piece of land that you can walk on on this earth has is either a result of a lunar impact or was directly impacted by the moon. I mean, basically, you got one right here, and I just showed you this one the other day where Imbrium's right here. You can see Imbrium right there, and then Copernicus comes down right here. So that's that's two right next to each other. That about covers this area. You got one definitely right here. This was also involved in the one that with this one right here. This was the same impact. The one with the Mare Imbrium here. South America here, I do believe, was one impact. Bring South America right up here, and it, it will go right there. The top of South America go right there, and it'll come down like this. Had to be the same impact. We should try that real quick on Google Earth. I should show that real fast, see how that fits. Okay, South America. It might be kind of tough to get it right right up here because it's towards the pole, so I might have to move it do this properly. So let's just go like this. I'll try it first. Browse. Pictures. Look for South America. have to get it right up here because it's so much so much toward the pole starts to mess with the picture but we, we might be able to work with this part down here okay, it's going to have to come over let's see that's right pretty close got the right size I think the Copernicus part of it, this impact is right in the center right there I think that was right there basically something like that pretty close to that and then we have the the Schrodinger oh that that's that just explains everything right there yes it does here we go watch so that I put that right there I'm saying this this is pretty close it's not perfect yet but it's pretty close to where it would have had to be had to have been okay and then I'm gonna put bring up this other impact overlay that I have up here already in place a little ways up and it's going to be right up here Schrodinger Rockies <laughs> yes sir now look if you look at South America right in that spot Look at the, look at this area right here. You can see the edge of Schrodinger right there. It just now put that together all on its own, basically. I mean, th I know I know now that Imbrium and Copernicus, when they impacted the Earth, it was this is how the continent continents were. These were layered. There's no question in my mind they were layered. They had to be. They absolutely had to be. And there's another imp this impact over here is this impact right here another one right here because there's another one that comes through South America right here at, the, at this part and look at the, look where it centers right there with uh, Central America so that goes together sort of like that then you can bring up Antarctica go in here somewhere I'm sure but I mean it's this that just put those two together pretty well and look at this the Hudson Bay watch this I'll turn this off I already know. I can see the shape. I already know that shape in South America. I know it. All right up there is the top. This part. So you got all these.
ancient rivers. Let's see if anything else stands out right away here. But that puts that you can see Schrodinger right there. I put that together before, so that that just put that together for me, pretty much. And if I bring up, uh, I don't think I have Imbrium here, but I'm gonna bring take Imbrium. Take I'll just take South America down here to the other. Sure, I have a Copernicus already here. So we can bring it up real quick right there. And then I'll come back and move this one over here. This shows. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I love this when this happens. Okay, so uh, right, right now that uh, that's pretty much how that goes right there. It's pretty close. I mean, well, well, actually, this Copernicus has to go right over here. So something like something like this. It's a little out of shape. That I th I'd say like that, something like that. So right here. In the Indian Ocean, hold on a second, got to figure this out in my mind here. Um, let's put this there. We should be able to see Copernicus, that's probably Copernicus right there, where it hits South America during this impact. Yeah, I'm going to say that's, so I'm going to get that adjusted properly here real quick. We can see the shape of it. Definitely see the shape of it. I'd say it's right there. Pretty close. Right? Am I right? You can see the curve and the way it turns down here and everything. You might have it the size wrong, but it's it's definitely the right place. Okay. So that goes like that. And then that puts I just showed uh Schrodinger right. Because also the Indian Ocean goes. Let me just, let me just put the Indian Ocean up here. That's what I need to do. That's what that's what it is. Okay, so I just showed Schrodinger in the weather, and it showed itself right in the middle, somewhere of the Indian Ocean. It's like right here. It showed itself right here. Remember? I sh look at that. Right over that spot. Right there. Look at that. That's where it was. Here, it's still there. Some of it is, uh, not much of it. It's right here, anyways. So that's straight down, pretty much from India. So if we go straight down from India, straight down, it was like right here. I saw shorting right here. So let's put, that puts that right, almost in place. Right here is where the. Actually, we can see. Right here, look. Definitely see that's Copernicus right there, people. Come on now. Come on. This needs to be turned a little bit, I think. Maybe not. Nope. That's good right there. Because you can see this. Oh, that's what you see. This point coming in like this. Copernicus, but that does show Copernicus right there, the curve of it. Yep. So what's happening? Because I don't have everything perfectly aligned, but it's, it still shows it to be, it still puts it in that location. Right, right under the Indian, right under India, right up here. Actually, it was down here where I've seen it, but it, it's, in the, it's in that neighborhood. And that's what matters. But you can see this, where this whips back and comes back, and you can see that. See that? So it shows that this continent was involved in the impact with Copernicus. Shows that North America was involved. I'll bring that one up right now. Let's see how that fits. Let's see, I need to turn off this. And, oh, I don't have that one title, do I? 
think it's right here. See that? Shows that it was together. Because it's the same shape as the as the whole Copernicus impact. I mean completely. So what we can what we can pretty much do is go like this. Measure this area of the earth. From here to there. That's bigger than the moon. Right there. That area right there, that's already bigger than the moon. But we have South America and North America. You see they're the right size, pretty close. And we have Imbrium being being at least the size they say the moon is. At least. At least that. No kidding. That showed that showed it in the weather up here in North America the other day. In this overlay right here that I did. Where's that one? Right there. Right there. That's Imbrium. Mare Imbrium is that big, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's this big on the moon. It can only be the same size. It cannot be bigger on the earth than it is on the moon if it created it, what if it they shaped each other. Or you could just say actually this that the earth shaped the moon that way or whatever if you want. If you want to go backwards, do it that way. But, I mean, it's, how, okay, if you do it that way, then how's a bigger print going to leave a smaller print on the moon? So you have to go the other way. You have to just realize that, that they're lying to you about the size of the moon and everything else, people. That's what it, this is all about. The only reason I do this is that I want the truth to be known about this. It's, it's not that I'm trying to put out any kind of fear porn or anything, bullshit like that. That's not even the case. I'm trying to show you science is bullshit. Science is complete bullshit. Just seen that. Just seen how th how that Copernicus picture fit that. I mean, that's there's no getting around that. Right there. And you know how they, and it, they the, they had to be layered. These continents had to be layered for them to all be impacted the same and have the same features in, on their land it, it, to match each other. They had to be. It had to be the supercontinent at the time of these impacts, and they had to be on top of each other. I know that's hard to believe, but it's it's the only way it could it could happen. Well, there might be one other way. I'm not sure, but it's certainly not plate tectonics. It's definitely something different. Look at that. Clearly, see Copernicus right there, people. Right there. Tell me you can't. I mean, this is a map that's not even associated with Google Earth. This is something I got off the internet. This picture here, from I don't know what is it, Dreams Time or something. I don't know what, where it's from, but it just has nothing to do with Google Earth. Kepler, right over here. You can see Kepler's right, probably right there. It's, it is probably right there. This probably created the Kepler crater. Part of part of what created it. I mean, there was other land here, so you got, like I said, take a closer look at things. You see the whole thing, right there. So whatever that size is, of South America's upper area of South America, whatever size that is, is what size Imbrium is. That's it. That's all I can say. This might be might show it a little. Eh, it's not really big. It's right. It's pretty much the scale. Right there. So let's go to the moon and check that's the size. Let's see how big it is on the moon. Let's see how much they're how big a lie they're telling you. Right? Let's go from here to there. Six hundred and fifty miles. So it's close to, like I said, five times the size, people. It's always that. Always. That's why I say just take a picture of the moon, put it over the earth at five times the size, and start putting the, start moving it around. It'll fit somewhere eventually. Just move it around. All you got to do is save the image like this. Go 
up to file, save, save image, and title it, and put it wherever you want it. Then hit save. I'm gonna hit cancel. And then you go then you go to this button here, go back to the earth. Or first you gotta flip that image over. You gotta use Microsoft Paint to, to flip it over. And once you flip it over, you hit this overlay button right here on the Google Earth. Right there. And then you just browse for your image of the moon. And then you, I, I usually, when you, if you haven't flipped it yet, you just go like this, you hit browse, right click, like this, and then you go to open with, paint, and then you go right here, this, this is how you flip it, flip horizontal or whatever, okay, and then you save it right here, okay, close it, then hit open. There's your moon image on the earth, reversed. Okay. Put that. I'm gonna put this near South America. I'm gonna bring that other South America one back up. It's gonna go good with it. This is a good. This is actually a really nice print of Schrodinger I, I haven't used yet. I don't think. Okay, so it's there. I haven't even used it yet. Well, I, I think I started to. I think it goes got this point right here so I'm gonna say probably goes like that look at that okay right about somewhere right in there what do you think it might go, it might go up a little bit actually right how about right there Yeah, because look at this. Look at this area right here. Right in place. And then you got that crater right there. There's probably a big mountain right there. Big mountain there. Yep, it fits pretty good. It might not be perfect. I might have it off still. Oh no, you got this up here fitting. Right here. That works. There you go. Puts it all together. I don't know. It's, I guess people just don't want to know, really. A lot of people. Uh, and it just kind of frustrates me that they want to continue to live like, live alive, kind of. I mean, it's, it's maybe it's better for ma most people. Maybe it's a better thing. I don't know. I don't think it is. Because if it changes all science, which this does absolutely change everything. All Earth science, all Earth history, everything. Changes it all. So... I mean, there's obviously moon rocks all over the earth, people. I mean, this it, this is, you could t do this all day long. I could sit here and do this all day long with any lunar, any image you give me of the moon or the or the earth. I could do this all day long, and I could just verify and confirm everything all day long with position and it, with, with their positions and everything. It, it, it all comes together every time. Every time. So that's what, all I'm saying is there's more to the story. Then they show in the documentaries about the Earth and how the Earth was made. That's all I can say. You know. So have a good day.